What's up gamers? Today we are going to be taking a look at something, you know, just truly pathetic here. You know, I say that a lot, but this is really the case this time, and it's just one of those perfect examples of how console fanboys literally have no life whatsoever. Like, these people live, breathe, and just sleep. The console wars. Like, they have nothing to look forward to in their day other than getting on YouTube or Twitter or whatever social media they get onto and talking about consoles, and more importantly, looking for any reason to bash the other consoles that they don't necessarily necessarily like and this is the perfect example of that and they kind of just took it a step too far this time in my opinion and you guys know I love the console war stuff I think it's entertaining it's fun to make fun of it's fun to laugh at you know at the end of the day it's not that serious we're talking about video games here but these console fanboys prove time and time again that they have no self-awareness whatsoever and they cannot just put down their fanboy perspective for even a second to maybe understand where somebody else might be coming from and this is the perfect example of that now I wasn't initially going to make a video on this, but two pretty prolific console fanboys in the YouTube community decided they were going to chime in on this, and overall, they just had a nuclear bad take on this entire situation, and they got completely roasted for it. So, I want to go ahead and explain what happened here. So, this dude by the name of Drew Murray, who was a higher up at the Initiative, which is an Xbox studio, announced on Twitter that he was going to be leaving the company, and he put out this string of tweets, and I'll go ahead and read through this real quick to pad out the video. After two wild years helping start the Initiative at Xbox and rebooting Perfect Dark, it's time for me to say a tearful and bittersweet goodbye to my team at The Initiative. It's been extraordinary working shoulder to shoulder with such a talented and experienced team, many of whom are great friends now, but my life outside of work needs more attention and headspace than I have been able to give it lately, so I'm stepping down from my role. Now, the rest of it's just him basically explaining he's still excited for the game, the team still has the vision, they know what they're doing, and the game's still gonna be good, whatever, you know. Basic shit here, okay? But the most important thing is, is he's saying, my life outside of work needs more attention, and he needs to get into a better headspace. So instead of going to work every day and focusing on that, he's gonna focus on the things that are truly important to him, which is 100% fine. Like, could you not understand? You know, the past year hasn't exactly been great for anyone, and we're gonna get into something else that happened to him now. I'm not 100% sure on this, but, you know, apparently his brother also died recently, so he had a loss in the family, and just on top of that, you know, the stress of COVID and everything, it adds up. So I 100% understand it, but you know who doesn't understand it? People like Crap Gamer and saltiest gaming because, you know, when they first saw this, they jumped on the opportunity to turn this into some console wars bullshit. Now, the first person I saw doing this was none other than, you know, Crap Gamer, one of my personal favorite content creators on this platform, definitely has earned his name. I don't think that's even up for dispute at this point, but he put out a tweet, originally quote tweeting this guy's tweet, saying, jumping from a sinking ship. serious? Which, you know, of course, man, you know, someone stepping down for personal reasons is 100% them jumping from a sinking ship. You know, Microsoft is definitely going out of business tomorrow. 100%, man. He saw the writing on the wall. Microsoft, the what, like third most valuable company in the world? Second most valuable company? I have no idea. Apparently they're a sinking ship and this guy wanted to get the fuck out of there. So he put out this tweet and well, Crap Gamer got quite a bit of backlash. Who would have thought, man? You know, you're literally shitting on a dude for wanting to step down from his job, which is probably very involving because he's one of the top people in a game studio, which means he's going to be working basically around the clock in some cases. So he wanted to take a step back. He wanted to focus on his personal life, what truly mattered to him, friends and family, because, you know, that's what he places value in. Not everyone has to be a part of your favorite corporation. You know, people's lives are not defined by their work, believe it or not. But, you know, whatever. Crap Gamer got a ton of backlash, which is kind of funny in this situation, because then another YouTuber by the name of Saltiest Gaming put out a tweet as well saying, Xbox does it again. That's right. Xbox does it again. Not this guy making a personal decision to step down from his job. Xbox, man, because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. PlayStation versus Xbox. It doesn't go any deeper than that for these people. This is the only thing they know about in life. Like, this is what their life revolves around, and they cannot imagine that any other person on planet Earth might have something outside of the fucking console wars. So Xbox does it again. The initiative loses arguably its most important person off 
off the development team mid-development. Not good. Hashtag play games, not flops. Hashtag stay salty. With a little picture of Phil Spencer there. How cute. And then he follows up the tweet because, you know, he was getting ratioed. So he said, if you want an example of a movie that lost its director mid-development, just look at the Justice League. It was a clusterfuck. I know it's a movie and this is a video game, but the thought process is the same. Um, no, it's not, man. No matter how much you'd like to believe and no matter how much you think Sony is correct in telling you, a movie and a video game are not the same thing, bro. They are completely different. One is a cinematic experience that is only based on its story, and the other is a video game that you actually have to play. Well, maybe not in the case of Sony video games, but hey, that's beside the point, man. He's a PlayStation fanboy. That's all he knows at this point, but he got completely ratioed on this tweet, and I think it's even worse since the time I took the screenshot, too. So, you know, these guys are getting absolutely obliterated. Now, the thing is here is, I, this is why I didn't really want to make a video on it, because, you know, it kind of speaks for itself. Just how sad these people are. They cannot for a second drop this console war bullshit and realize that there's more to life, there's more to existence than arguing over PlayStation versus Xbox. And this is the perfect demonstration of that. Now, to crap gamers credit, he did actually apologize when he found out that the dude's brother had passed away recently. And that's part of the reason why he was stepping down from his stressful job, which probably was taking up a majority of his time because he wanted to spend more time with his family and friends. Because, you know, when you have a loss in the family, it kind of puts things into perspective over what actually matters. I had this experience when my grandmother died back when I was like 11 or 12. So, you know, it's something that kind of sticks with you. It's something that hits you hard, especially if you're really close to that person. And I can only imagine how sad it would be to lose a brother. So, Crap Gamer, to his credit, did actually apologize when he found out the circumstances surrounding this. He tweeted out saying, To avoid this being a thing, I don't follow this dev. Saw this tweet in my timeline and I tweeted it with a joke. Which, to be fair, you know, it, it definitely was a joke in my opinion. Apparently in latter tweets, he mentions family loss which was not my intention to make light since I didn't see that post. Apologies if anyone took it wrong. So, you know, at least Crap Gamer has the human decency to get rid of his tweet and say, you know what, maybe I went a little bit too far here, my bad. I'm sorry if this offended anyone. But do you think Saltiest Gaming had the slightest bit of human decency to maybe do that? Absolutely not, man. Instead, you know, he's replying to people in his tweets, you know, doubling down on this shit. It's really sad, bro. I mean, just, it really puts it into perspective how just absolutely pathetic it is that when someone by the name of Crap Gamer, probably the most prolific console fanboy in the history of the internet, has a lot more decency than you do, and is willing to actually admit, like, hey, maybe I took this a little bit too far, but, you know, saltiest gaming, nah. So, what I wanted to do is take this moment and just read some of the replies on this tweet, just absolutely roasting saltiest gaming for these tweets, and honestly, they're pretty good. So, someone by the name of Unified replied to him saying, man, read the whole fucking thread next time before trying to spin stuff for a fucking pathetic Xbox versus his pony war clown dude went through a depressing pandemic just like we all have and lost his brother recently on top of that this ain't got nothing to do with xbox and their problem i mean anyone with any sort of self-awareness could step back for a second and realize there's something more going on here than xbox versus playstation and it's truly amazing that these people are just so fucking tone deaf that they can't realize it like console fanboys have like a mental block i swear to god like these people are like mentally slow i really just do not understand it. So then someone else replied to Saltiest Gaming saying, another game with a beautiful yellow score. Cheers. You know, basically referencing the Metacritic score, but you know, because Metacritic determines the success of a video game. Like, look at The Last of Us 2 and that dumpster fire. It's one of the highest rated games on Metacritic, and you know, I don't really think the user score <laughs> matches that consensus. You know, in fact, Metacritic, it was so bad that they had to turn off the ability to leave a negative review on The Last of Us 2, if that tells you anything. But then some dude by the name of some freaking guy replied with, don't you have a child's birthday party? party to attend to clown like i mean that's the thing these dudes cannot step back for a second and just realize you know there's more shit going on here it's not just ooh xbox lost a developer ha 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 playstation for the win next up someone by the name of sergio replied saying probably not the best idea to use fanboy drivel when someone is stepping down over personal life issues and then clamp god replies with yup dude's a clown which you know what i 100 agree with these people are clowns denshi replied saying read the tweet it has nothing to do with the development issues or Xbox as a brand. He literally said he's not spending enough time with his family slash people outside of work, so he's stepping down for personal reasons. Give the man some respect. There's more to life than work. 100%. But these people cannot imagine a reality where, you know, Xbox or PlayStation is not the most important things in their life. Like, it's really sad if you think about it that way. But moving on to our last example here, and... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's this some freaking guy again and this shit was just funny bro it's really hard to imagine that you've had sex before dude and you know what i have to agree with that statement so i guess the moral of the story is here is once again console fanboys have proven themselves to be completely out of touch losers with no life outside of this pathetic excuse of an existence they call the console war you know what it's perfectly fine if you play games on console i feel like i need to clarify that unless you're acting like these brainlets don't fucking worry about it dude you know play video games or whatever you enjoy at the end of the day it's all about entertainment it's all about having fun and that's all that really matters but i just wanted to make this video real quick because you know this is a truly perfect example of two console fanboys that just have no touch with reality whatsoever but anyway guys if by some chance you enjoyed this random ass youtube video feel free to drop a like on it i would greatly appreciate it and as always i want to thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and for all the recent support as well you guys are the fucking best and i really do appreciate it and i will catch you guys next time